Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. Let's take example mesh here and what we would like to do is actually to extract this surface nicely. And the way normally the user would do is using a 3D sketch. I, to save time I just pre-created this sketch by drawing the contours here. I will just um, create some line here nicely on the corners and I will just uh, finish off this sketch by drawing um, my last line and it, this will look like this. So I press OK. The next step for me would be to actually create my main surface and I will use the fit surface command. We'll take the mesh selection tool and uh, this pre-selects um, the areas that represents the surface without any artifacts here and then I press OK and then, then we run the fit surface command here I can adjust to the axis we apply and in order to get this uh, nicely I can use the auto command or I can just use uh, some numeric values like this apply and I see that this fits the surface well so I'll have the mesh for now and what you can do in quick surface is that you actually can take the 3d sketch right click on it and you can create an extruded surface what it does that it takes the average plane of the, um, uh, the 3d sketch and fits a plane and this defines our extrusion direction we can edit this by editing the um, extruded surface object and if you can see here, for in the case of 3D sketch, you have some options. In this case, it uses the average plane, but you can also use the z-axis, which is the global z-axis, how the, the um, 3D sketch is extruded. You can choose x-axis, which creates a weird result in this case, or even y-axis. In my case, probably the best um, strategy would be to use the average plane. And of course now it's the last step, you just select the two parts and you can choose trim. I can get rid of uh, unnecessary surfaces and uh, press OK. As you can see now I have a nice and smooth surface with uh, very well defined boundaries. I hope this is useful, thank you for watching.